right, this video is to introduce everyone to our newest little product. We've had uh, a lot of issues with this on our own airplanes and, and I've purchased uh, various so-called solutions and heat shields and whatnot from a lot of different manufacturers. Put them on the airplane, some worked, some didn't. Some uh, proceeded to vibrate off of there in just a very short number of hours, developed cracks and lots of little problems. So it appeared there was a need for uh, a system to uh, apply heat shields to your exhaust that is simple, easy to do, easy to move and service. Um, and it protects your cowl. Now, my own airplane, uh, my first experience with this heat issue was the fiberglass cowl was actually starting to decompose inside. It caused me a lot of problems and a lot of work. So I set out to fix that with numerous different heat shields. This is our newest system, and it's pretty bulletproof. Uh, hard to do any wrong when you're putting this on, and, and it should last the life of your airplane. Uh, the heart of the system is these little stainless steel brackets. Now they're made out of uh, 301 stainless. It's very, very hard. And uh, this is 14 gauge, so it's extremely strong. It attaches to the tubes with just a hose clamp. It'll fit any tube from two and a half inch down, even small tubes like the tubes on your engine mount or lines that you wanted to protect from heat. So I'll go over the installation, show you how it works, and uh, hopefully uh, this will solve as many problems for some of you guys as, as it did for me. <clears throat> now as you can see, um, we're gonna make the heat shield aluminum portion in three different lengths. There'd be a 12 inch, a six inch, and a four inch. Now, with these three sizes, you can trim and cut these to accomplish pretty much whatever you need in the way of heat shields on your exhaust and accessories. Uh, you can even take, like we did up here on this one, this was a 12 inch one that we just had to go around a corner, so we just notch it and rivet it together to the shape we want and then attach it. Now the way they attach is like I said with this little 14 gauge stainless bracket that just clamps around the tube with a hose clamp. Just like so. Now, once you've clamped, you, you've decided where you want these, all that's necessary is on the inside of the heat shield, you take these little brackets and you put them up here, line them up with the holes and rivet them. Uh, you can put a bracket on one end pointing this direction. You can put the next one here pointing the same direction. If you install the brackets like that, all that's necessary to remove them is just to loosen the two clamps and the heat shield will slide off. If you don't want to see the clamps, you can turn the one on this end around the other way. And they can be mounted, you know, anywhere in the length of the heat shield. Now the heat shields are pre-punched every inch with the holes, the right size for one eighth rivets, as well as the, the brackets are, are 
punched as well. So it gives you a lot of versatility as far as uh, shortening them up or modifying them to fit your application. If you have something that you need to heat shield all the way around, you can actually put two brackets opposite each other and at that point you can install heat shields on, on both and uh, shield the whole pipe. Now we had intended in the kit to ship the kit with two brackets per aluminum heat shield and the rivets uh, and on the rivets uh, you can use eighth inch squeeze rivets or you can actually use eighth inch stainless steel pop rivets uh, with the steel pull pins. Uh, those work very well and they're really simple and everybody's got a pop riveter. A lot of guys that didn't build their airplanes don't have rivet squeezers and whatnot. So those would be the items that should be installed in the kit. When you order on the website, you choose the length of the kits that you want and you give us the tubing size that you intend to use them on and we will ship them with those appropriate clamps. Now as you can see on this little stand uh, this is uh, typical uh, engine mount tubing size. Uh, the heat shields will work on that and you can cut them and fabricate them and do anything you want with them uh, or they will fit anything from that size all the way up to two and a half inch. So we think this little kit uh, should fill most of the guy's needs for heat shielding. And if you have any questions with this, just call and present them to us and we'll try to answer them. Thank you.